Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com and I'm on a mission to teach you the tricks of the audio production trade even if you're just getting started today. In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to edit out breaths and other unwanted noises from voiceovers so that they're ready to be mixed into hot radio imaging. Take a look at this voiceover on your screen now. It's from Nathan, our Australian male voiceover, and as I play it to you, you'll hear the breaths still included in the voiceover. Spinning out the greatest hits of the season, we would give you the handsome DJ, but it's all about the music. 105.7 FM every Saturday, 4 to 5 a.m. When you look at a wave, it's quite easy to spot a breath because they look like small diamonds. I'll point out the three breaths in this voiceover to you now. Here's breath one, breath two, and breath three. To get rid of them, you simply select those little diamond shapes before the voiceover and hit delete. There's one gone, and a second one, and a third one. Now, if I've done my job correctly, this voiceover should sound natural. Let's listen. Spinning out the greatest hits of the season, we would give you the handsome DJ, but it's all about the music. 105.7 FM every Saturday, 4 to 5 a.m. The final unwanted noise on that voiceover is just at the end. When you hear a M, there's a slight click on the M. Listen. A M. And to get rid of that, you simply zoom in, either using your magic mouse or scroll on your PC mouse, and then I'll just delete that little click, and we should have a natural ending now as well. Every Saturday, 4 to 5 a.m. Perfect. And that's how you get rid of unwanted noises from voiceovers. If you like this video, click the link below now to get access to the pro version with extra tips not included in this video, such as editing clicks from voiceovers and pops as well, plus a resource pack so you can practice these techniques yourself. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.